This is my Jameis Comet tri-bike. Uh, last year, early in the season, I went ahead and crashed the bike, and the original aer aero bars on there were uh, Sintase, and they got all bent up, and I replaced them with these profile design aero bars, but I haven't liked them. Uh, there's an issue with the armrest popping down if you hit a bump, and I made another video about that. So I'm going to go ahead and just replace this whole setup up here. Um, what I've got is uh, some Vision aero bars. I'm going to replace the, the uh, base bar, and i got some Vision um, uh, aero bars here, kind of the straight kind. I've got uh, new brake levers. I'm going to put on there like real aero skinny things here. Uh, I'm going to keep the, the shifters, the Dura-Ace uh, 10 speed um, bar inch shifters on there. I'm going to keep those, but pretty much everything else up here is going to be replaced. So I'm going to walk you through the whole process of doing that. This is going to be a lot of fun. Okay, the first thing I want to do is just go ahead and start uh, removing the old aero bars and I'm going to be replacing all the cables, so I'm just going to go ahead and just cut all the, the cables, the brake cables, the shifter cables, and let me see, got that and one more there. So I've got all those removed, and then go ahead and remove this here. Go ahead and remove this. There's that, and all this stuff should just probably pull out right like that. Okay, go ahead and start by installing this base bar here. And And then I'll center it using these little lines in here. And then I want it, uh, these bars, basically horizontal right like that. And they look about horizontal like that. Let's see, move it over just a little bit. And then tighten that down. Okay, before I put the arrow bars on, I want to go ahead and run the brake cables. They're routed through the base bar. There's a hole runner here, and then there's a hole that comes out right out here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of the brake cable that came out of, you know, the uh, other arrow bars, and I'm going to go ahead and insert this cable down through my little bit of uh, cable housing here, and let it go all the way to the end there. So, now I have this bit of cable coming out the end here. Um, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and feed this in cable first, in through this hole here, and hopefully this cable will come out the other end, and no, so I'm gonna have to find something to grab it. So I got a little piece of wire here, just gonna make it like a little loop here, and I can stick this into the hole here. Okay, so I got the cable here. Now what I can do is use this bit of cable here to go ahead and guide the cable housing out through this hole here. Just like that. And then I'll go ahead and pull it through. And then I'll leave a little bit here at the end here, but I got this out here, and then this should be enough to reach down to there. I might have a little bit to cut off if I need to. So go ahead and pull this cable out. 
Okay, now do the other side here. Again, just put the cable through the, the cable housing. All the way to the end. Feed this through um, the hole here in the bottom. And there's the cable there. So I'll just try to grab the cable there and kind of feed it out through the hole. There's that. Then I can pull the cable housing through. And run it through to just about there. And I can pull the cable out through there. And then this should be enough to reach down to there, plus a little bit extra there. Okay, so I've got the brake levers here, and they're marked with an L and an R to signify which side they go on. So the left one is gonna go onto here, and it's just gonna go ahead. There's a little tiny Allen head screw over the other side here. So let's go ahead and tighten those on. Okay, time to set up the brake here. So there's still a fragment in there that I cut off before. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove that. Pull that out of there. Okay, I need to figure out the length of the cable housing here. Um, so I wanna have enough that it's not gonna come up and so much be pushed down by the stem, but then I wanna have enough so that as these brakes come together down here that it's got enough room to go down. So probably what I'll do is probably right about there. So I'm just gonna cut a little bit off the end here. About that much. And it pays to have good uh, cable housing cutters here like this. These are Park Tool. And let me see, I'll clean that up just a little bit. Just a little bit more here. Because you get nice clean cuts. If you use cheap uh, cable housing cutters, cable cutters, it just kind of smashes the, uh, the cable housings. And I got like a scribe here to go ahead and poke inside there. And that looks like it's about right. I kind of like that. And so now I got to do this other uh, for the rear brake. Okay, cutting the cable housing for the rear brake is a little trickier because it has to go around the stem. So if I go ahead and just put this into place here, I want to make sure that it has enough room so that as I turn the handlebars, it doesn't uh, run out of cable here, uh, cable housing here. It doesn't, it doesn't just pull tight before the uh, handlebars come around. And that's actually pretty good there, because if I cut much more off of there, I'm gonna run out of cable housing. So that's actually about right. Um, again, you don't want too much, because otherwise it's gonna like, just really stick out, out there, and you don't want that either. So that's actually about right, I like that. Okay, now I gotta feed the uh, brake cables in uh, through the housings. Uh, I got some brake cables with the, uh, the brake levers, and there's a long piece and a short piece. So the short piece, is gonna be for the front brake, and the long piece is gonna be for the rear brake. So, I'm gonna go over here. I've fit the cable housing into the back of the, the little slide into the back of the brake lever there. So it's gonna go ahead and feed the cable through and get it into the cable housing. Up uh, oh, there it goes. And then just push the cable through. and then pull it through the other end here until it's fully seated there. Okay, here, here comes a little bit of the tricky part, is I stuck a, a ferrule on the end of the cable housing, and I'll go ahead, slide the cable down 
through the brake and through the little clamp there. Pull it through and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take this uh, barrel adjuster. I'm going to go ahead and turn it out like four full turns. That's the way I like to do this. So it's like two, three. Okay, that's probably about four full turns there. Then squeeze the brakes together, pull the cable tight there. Tighten the little clamp here, and then go ahead and then just screw this barrel adjuster back down, and that should loosen the uh, brake pads there. And now I can go ahead and just try the brakes there, and that looks about right. Give a quick spin there. I'm gonna go ahead and just tighten this all the way again. Cut the cable about an inch and a half out. Put a little crimp end on. So it doesn't fray. And there, I got the front brake done. Okay, let's do this all the same way. Uh, go ahead and remove this fragment of cable that's still left in there. I'll pull that through. I got my new cable housing here and the new cable. I'm gonna take a little uh, ferrule uh, cable housing end here and slide that through and put the, that onto the end of the cable there. That cable housing will fit right up into there. Slide the, the new cable through here. It'll fit down through this little clamp here. Pull that tight. Okay, got my barrel adjuster here. Loosen the little lock nut there. Tighten that all the way down. And then loosen it about four full turns. Now if I go ahead and squeeze these brakes together against the rim, pull the cable tight in there, and make sure this little, uh, this little uh, lever there is pointed all the way down. Tighten the cable in there. And then if I go ahead and tighten uh, the barrel adjuster down, that should, uh, let me see if I go ahead here, and then I tighten the brakes. And that's about right. Okay, tighten this all the way. Cut the cable off about an inch and a half down. Put a little crimp end on. Tighten that on. And there, I'm done with the brakes. Now to go ahead and put the uh, arrow bars on. And I'll put those on there. I'm not going to tighten it all the way on at this point. And then I want about the equal distance here. And then I want to have these about like just pair of like flat. Horizontal. And then tighten these down. Okay, I'm ready to start installing the shifters. Okay, I got the uh, cable here. And I want to kind of rough cut the uh, cable to length. So I'm going to leave it a little bit long on this end. 
it's going to come out. There's like a little hole under here, so it's going to come out there. And then it's going to come down to down to here. And I want to leave enough room so that when I turn that, that it's going to come down there. Um, so again, I'm going to leave it a little bit long. So there. Um, so I'll go ahead and cut that. Again, have nice, good quality uh, cable housing cutters. These are from Park Tool. They're uh, da, 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 CN tens. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut the cable housing here. Then I'm gonna cut a second cable housing the same length. Because that should work about right. So I'll cut that there. Boom. So now I got my two cable housings here. Okay, so now I gotta pull off these little plugs here to where uh, the shifter is gonna go. So just kind of grab those and pull them off. There. Okay, now I need to fish the shifter cables through the arrow bars. So there's a hole right here because the cable housing is gonna go under here, go in this hole. And then there's another hole down here, so it's going to come out that hole. So i got to put it in this hole and bring it out this hole here. So I have my piece of shifter cable here. I'm going to go ahead and feed some uh, shifter cable through there. And put it all the way through so that the, the little end is right up against the end of the uh, cable housing. Then I'm going to take my cable here, put it into the one hole, and feed it in, and hopefully be able to catch it at this other end here. Okay, got the other end of the cable through. So I'll pull this through, pull the cable housing through, and then using the other end of the cable, pull the cable ho housing through there. And I'll just get it roughly in position there and pull the cable back out. Okay, let's go ahead and we'll run the cable through the other cable housing here and out through the other side. All the way to the end. Then take the cable, run up through this hole here, and then try to get it down through this other hole here. There we go. Got it. And then pull the cable through. Like that. Boom. And pull the cable out. Okay, I want to go ahead and install the shifters on the bar ends. Um, these are Shimano Dura Ace. 10 speed bar end shifters. Um, Vision also makes these little adapters, which I think are small, supposed to be smaller diameter to go in there. And I thought I would need these, so I bought them, but it looks like these uh, shifters fit in there just fine. So, um, to install them, I want to make sure that these little screw parts here are on the outsides. So, go ahead and pull this off here. Don't lose any of these little parts. And then I gotta uh, tighten this onto the end of the bar end. And that's done. There's this little, cl uh, little clamp thing on the back side here. And what you do, it's a five millimeter. I just put that in there. And I turn this to actually loosen the bolt. And that will actually tighten the clamp out inside the, the bar end there. And I wanna make sure that this is straight up and down. So tighten that so it's nice and sturdy and I'll do the same thing on this one over here Okay, now that we have the little base parts put on, go ahead and remount the parts 
just how you took them off and you want to be careful when you take them off so that you uh, put them on the exact same way that they came off with all the parts in the right order. Here, get that in there and screw this in. And kind of get that by feel. And so those both, both seem to be working there. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is go ahead and cut the cable housings down to the exact length we need. So start with the side first. Go ahead and take this end of the cable housing and put it into the back of the shifter and have it all the way into the shifter and then holding it there rotate the handlebars all the way around as far as they'll go and bring the cable housing down to where it's going to go into the cable stop here. We want to be able to turn the handlebar as far as around without the cable binding so bring it right there and then go ahead and cut the cable housing right there. Got my cable cutters here. Cut the cable housing. And then I got my scribe here to go ahead and open up the little lining in there. So that would just go right, right into there. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the other side. Same thing, go ahead and put the shifter cable housing right in the back of the shifter. Make sure it's all the way in. Turn the handlebars all the way around here, as far as I'll go. Bring it down to the cable stop. Make sure that it doesn't, so it's not going to bind. Cut the housing off there. And opening up the lining with the scribe. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and put the cable in through the shifter. Go ahead, uh, move the, the shifter all the way back into the closed position. I'm going to pull the cable housing out of the back of the shifter for a moment and stick it through the uh, into there. And it's going to come out through the back of the shifter and then I'm going to go ahead and feed it into the, the uh, cable housing. There. Then push the cable into the, all the way in. And it comes out the end of the, end of the cable. Go ahead and pull the cable all the way through. Now from here, I can go ahead and reposition the cable housing right into the back of the shifter there. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead, feed a ferrule onto the end of the cable here, and slide it all the way down to the end of the cable end, cable housing. And then I'll go ahead and seat the cable housing into the uh, cable stop there. Let's go ahead and do the other side. Okay, go ahead, pull the cable housing out of the back of the shifter, close the shifter all the way, feed the cable in through the shifter into the back of, of the base there. There we go. Then feed it into the cable housing. Get lined up there. And then push it in. When you get it in, go ahead and insert the cable housing back into the back of the shifter. So it's all the way in and push the cable through. Then when it comes all the way out through the other end of the housing, go ahead and pull it through. Get seated there. Feed a ferrule onto the end of the cable. Run it up to the end of the cable housing here, and then we're going to go ahead and seat the cable housing into the cable stop there. Okay, let's go ahead and hook the cable up to the derailleur. There's still a uh, remnant of the old 
cable on there, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull that off. Loosen this little clamp here, pull the cable through. Okay, screw the barrel adjuster all the way in. And then unscrew it just like a turn or two. One, two. Then we take the cable housing, or the cable, and run it through the guide under the bottom bracket. Bring the cable through here. Into this cable housing here. Feed this through the barrel adjuster into the little clamp there. Okay, make sure that the chain is down to the smallest cog. Pull the cable tight into the little clamp and go ahead and tighten the little clamp. Not all the way, but just mostly. Now I'm going to go ahead and trim this cable here, just kind of get it out of the way here. And like that, that should be enough. Now go ahead, rotate the cranks, and try shifting the uh, shifter up one notch. Well, that worked pretty well. Up another notch, another notch. There's a little bit of hesitation, so I'm just gonna back this out just one little notch here. Up, 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 and then let's go down. Down, 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 up, down. Okay, so let's shift in pretty well. So I'm going to go ahead and tighten this down all the way. Trim the cable just a little bit more. Put like a little crimp end on there. And then done with that shifter and derailleur. Okay, now to do this derailleur up here. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the old bit of cable that's still left in there. Just loosen that. Pull the old cable out. Run the, the new cable up through the guide on the bottom bracket. It's gonna come up behind the seat uh, tube. Pull it tight. And then up into this little clamp here. <clears throat> and then tighten that down. Okay, rotate the cranks. And then try shifting the shifter up. It shifts up, shift down, shifts up, shifts down. Okay, that looks pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead, tighten this all the way. Trim this cable down to about an inch, inch and a half. Put a crimp end on, crimp this on. And there, done. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and finish this up here. I got a little bit of electrical tape, and I'm just gonna go ahead and tape these uh, cable housings right, right up in there in the middle. Just kind of hold them up into place. The only thing left to do is wrap these with some handlebar tape up in here and probably up in here and then put the, uh, the, elbow, uh, the, the pads on and I'm done. But I'm going to go ahead and do the tape probably in another video. I already have one video on how to do that but I'm probably going to do another one. And they're done.
Now I wish it was summer so I could take this thing out for a ride. But I guess I'll have to wait for spring and then I'll get some riding in then.